Do paint and then we'll carry on. Weren't we were painting the station and I think Carabon thought it looked very smart. You haven't got any spare paint, have you? asked Annie. It seems ages since ours was new. <laughs> this paint colour wouldn't be any good, the paint laughed. You'd want brown, wouldn't you? As the last station was finished, the painters went away. But that night, there were some visitors. They climbed over the railway fence, ignoring the warning sign, crossed the railway line, and came to the station. The next day, the Fat Control arrived to find red, wavy lines sprayed on the seat and a large question mark on the waiting room door. He immediately sent for policeman then, who told everyone, Please keep your eyes open and let me know if you find out anything about this. That night, Annie and Clarabelle were alone in their sheds. Annie wakened suddenly when she heard a footstep. Then a hissing noise and felt coolness on her side. Still half asleep, she wondered if the men had come to repaint her at last. What's happening? demanded Clarabelle loudly. She felt cool on one side too. Then they heard quick footsteps. A sliding noise, a shout, and then a thud. The lights went on. Stay where you are, said Policeman Ed. There, sitting uncomfortably on the floor, was another boy of about ten years old who said, I, I can't move. I think I've broken my ankle. What you were doing was not only against the law, but proved to be very dangerous. What you were doing is not only against the law, but proven to be very dangerous and painful too, said Policeman Len. Policeman Len looked at the bo boy's foot. Badly sprained, he said. Perhaps it will teach you a lesson. Ah, yes it will, sobbed the boy. Let's get you home so I can speak to your parents about this. Annie and Clarabelle felt shy about the large patches of bright red paint on their sides, especially when they met the Fat Controller. Never mind, the Fat Controller said. I have given orders for you to be repainted properly and Policeman Len will make sure it doesn't happen again. The Fat Controller kept his promise to have Annie and Clarabelle repainted and they returned to service with their shiny new coats of paint. You're the pride of the line, smiled the Fat Controller. The coaches blushed and were very happy that they set off from the station with Thomas, looking better than ever before.